Configuring the Injix IG-SO1 BLE Wi-Fi Gateway. Hi, this is Jim from Revolution 11. I'll be walking you through today's demo. You will need an AWS account to set up the gateway. We have a video on that process on this channel. The gateway does not come with a USB charger, so you want to make sure you purchase one of those before you start getting set up. Attach the antenna to the gateway and plug in the micro USB end of the cable into the gateway. And plug the USB end of the cable into a USB charger. Look for and join the Gateway's Wi-Fi network. The SSID name will start with BLE Wi-Fi. The default password is 12345678. We'll be changing that later on. Type the following IP address into your browser and admin is the initial password as well as the username. So type that in and press the login button. In the security key field, type in a new password to replace the default one. I'm going to use the same password for the network I'm going to join the gateway to. We are going to set up our gateway to repeat an existing Wi-Fi network. In the Wi-Fi drop-down, select Station, and then press the Scan button to find the network you'd like to join. Choose the available network you'd like to join from the Site Survey drop-down. The name of the SSID will auto-populate when you choose the network from the drop-down. Since you cannot change the name of the SSID, You'll want to make sure that you use this gateway in an area where other devices that use the network your gateway is joined to won't use this gateway instead. You'll definitely not have a great streaming experience with Netflix if your devices go through this gateway. Enter the password for the network you are joining in the security key field and then press the save button. You should see a message in the upper left-hand corner reminding you to reboot the gateway to commit these changes. Let's change the password for the admin council next. Press the system tab and type in admin for the current password field, and then the new password for the new password field, and then press the change password button. Now we are ready to reboot to save these changes. Press the Reboot tab and you will be prompted to log back in with the new password for the Admin Council. Enter the password and press the Login button. Now let's get this device set up on the AWS IoT Core. Log in to AWS and find and choose the IoT Core from the home page. We are going to start by creating a policy for the gateway to use. So choose Secure Policies from the menu bar to the left on the IoT Core home screen. Then click on the Create button in the upper right hand corner to create a new policy. On the next screen, name the policy and under Add Statements, start typing IoT and choose IoT Asterisk from the drop down. For the resource ARN, we're going to use asterisk once again so we can use the policy for any resource. Select the Allow checkbox under Effect and press the Create button in the lower right. Okay, now that we have a policy, we're ready to create a thing. Choose Manage Things in the menu bar to the left and press the Create button in the upper right. Choose Create a Single Thing. Give your gateway a name. You can add types of things and groups if you have more than one gateway. 
I've added some tips about naming conventions in the description of this video. Scroll down and you'll see a spot to add key value pairs of attributes to make this gateway or other things really easy to find. You've got a ton of things. Press the next button in the lower right hand corner. To use a device with the AWS IoT Core, the device must be loaded with a certificate. You can create a certificate for the AWS Core here. Choose One Click Certificate Creation and click Create Certificate next to it. Download the certificates and save them in a safe place. We will also need a root certificate for our organization. Click on the link right above the Activate button. This will open up a new window. We are going to use the first type of certificate under Amazon Trust Services Endpoints. This will create the certificate in a new browser window. Copy the generated text and paste it into a text editor and save the file as ca.crt. Return to the AWS Certificate screen and press the Activate button. Next, scroll down and click on the Attach a Policy button. Select the policy we just created and press the Register Thing button in the lower right hand corner. You should now see your gateway in the list of things. Click on it. Click on Interact on the menu bar to the left and make note of the ARN for this thing. We will be updating our gateway's configuration using this endpoint. The IP address for the gateway changed when we joined it to a Wi-Fi network. To determine what the new address is, I like to use an app called Fing. It's available in the iOS App Store and Google's Play Store. You should see a device like this in your list of devices in Fang. Make note of the address and type it into your browser. Now, we're going to set up the gateway itself so that it can use the AWS Core. Join the Wi-Fi network for the gateway and log on to the Admin Council. Choose the Applications tab and choose MQTT from the Application dropdown. Enter the device endpoint you saved from AWS. Make sure the port is 8883. Next, you'll want to edit the default published topic. The topic provided is missing the leading forward slash. Change it to something like what is shown here. Enable MQTTS. Select AWS IoT from the root CA dropdown and choose Enable for Use Certificate. At the bottom of the screen, press the Save button. Choose the Advanced tab. Using the Choose File buttons above the Upload Certificate and Upload Key buttons, pick the certificate and private key you saved from Amazon earlier. The file name should now be populated. Press the Upload Certificate button and then the Upload Key button. You should now see the contents of the certificate and the key on the screen. Save the changes to the gateway by pressing the Reboot button to the far right. Log back on to AWS. Choose the IoT service. Choose Manage Things and select your gateway. Choose Activity from the menu bar on the left. Click on MQTT Client in the upper right hand corner. Paste the default topic you copied from the Gateway Admin Council into the first text box and press the Subscribe to Topic button to the right. 
You should now see a bunch of text payload strings coming through the console. This gateway uses a proprietary payload, which represents the kind of sensor it's picking up, the data from that sensor, and if the button on the sensor has been pressed. Congratulations! You now have a working connection with AWS. You can see how to send alerts and measure the data you are gathering over time in other videos on this channel. See you next time! Do you need help getting started with the cloud or IoT? Contact Revolution 11. We'd love to chat.